scared. We will be covering. <laughs> This week, we won't be covering... From the best news headquarters in the world, this is Breaking News, a recap. Good evening, and welcome to Breaking News, a recap. I'm your host, Wesley Newfarmer, and this is she, her, is she, her? It's just, it's Jessica Pratt. Sorry, I don't have my contacts in. Both of our fans have asked us how we put together this show. While it involves a huge team of industry experts working endless hours to give you the perfection you constantly remind us we all fall short of, Mom, we decided to give you a behind-the-scenes look at how we make magic happen every so often. It starts with me waking up bright and early at 5am to troll the internet and radio to hear any breaking news during the night. At the same time, I'm gently awoken by my manservant, Alejandra, with some eggs benedict and the paper. By 7am, I'm in the breaking news office, busy compiling a list of all the top stories of the day. I then spend the next three to four hours researching, writing and fact-checking with our most reliable source, Wikipedia, to ensure that we are delivering all the facts. By the time Jessica is finally finished and ready for a lunch break, Jeeves drops me off at the studio and I hand her the Washington Post. I only read newspapers. If it's not in print, it simply isn't news. As Wesley cracks open his first bottle of whiskey and I miss my lunch break, our sports reporter Kieran Hillier arrives and makes her way to the luxury penthouse to hobnob in the executive lounge. This just happens to be the same place her interview for the position took place. As bottle number two is cracked, I take a look over the chosen stories and add my touch. My preferred tool for this is a red sharpie. However, I've just received a quote from a great guy I met at a bar for a stamp which simply says, nope. Once I edit or completely change the stories to suit Wesley, we hand everything over to our producer and begin getting ready for the broadcast. I choose between the many sponsored suits in my corner office dressing room. I wear the same thing every week as stipulated by the Broadcasting Standards Act, which limits variety and personality by plain girls on television. As I get my makeup done, checked and rechecked, I take this time to transfer my drink into my trusty breaking news mug to give the illusion I'm drinking coffee. I apply my own makeup, because if I didn't, the makeup department would have me looking like a Barbie doll. Once in the studio, we run through the top stories, making sure the size of the text and the speed of the teleprompter is to our liking. You would think someone on the crew would remember the settings, yet they never do, and therefore we waste time every week setting them again. At this point, Jessica, who for some reason gets up way too early, starts getting tired and shows classic signs of having a short fuse. Think of one of those snapping turtles you see at the pet shop, but add the weight of feminism and fairness to its shoulders. Once filming begins, Wesley likes to show the viewers what a good team we are by either forgetting my name or adding a passive-aggressive comment to my introduction. I call it banter, and it's not my fault Jessica can't see the humor in it. You know what they say, if a boy is mean to you, it's obvious he likes you. That is, that is not a thing that we should ever be saying. Then comes that part of the show where we introduce Kieran. She usually doesn't come downstairs until the broadcast begins and saunters in to do her role. Funnily enough, Wesley never gets her name wrong. Jessica makes me stand for my segment, but... Once we make up the weather report off the top of our heads, the broadcast ends and after a 14-hour day, I'm free. At this point, Jessica is so unbearable to be around that we send her home and let her husband deal with her. The guys here call it the witching hour, and we know to avoid eye contact at that point. Those of us left in the office who actually have a work ethic then start the all-important editing process with the news bandits. That's what we call ourselves. We're not just editors. We double as a champion bowling and t-ball team. You can hashtag us. The news bandits are a group of guys who hate their home life so much they stay around till all hours editing the show and drinking. I'm all about equality, but you could not pay me enough to be around them. Once we get the job done, we then send our little news show out into the stratosphere with the hopes that loyal and trustworthy viewers, Mom, will like and share the episode among their friends. And then the long and tiring process starts all over again. You should really look into getting a manservant. You should really look into learning how to play the game as opposed to putting the ball.